Hello, I'm Shivani and this is a curly bookworm. I want to talk to you today about something that I brought up the other day, which was basically curly hair. And I wanted to talk to you about my own journey with curly hair so far. So let's begin the story. <laughs> I know I've said that I really like curly hair and I know that uh, most people know that about me that I'm really passionate about curly hair and how to preserve curly hair and how to have a relationship with curly hair and yeah that's literally how I see it like I think that it's important to have a relationship with um, anything that's important to you and if how your hair looks and how it feels is important to you then you have to have a relationship with your hair I wanted to start this off by saying that I have a relationship with my hair um, I know it sounds funny but it is something that that happens over time um, let me tell you how this all began essentially in my family my mother and my sister both have curly hair um, that's great because when you're growing up at least like you know there's um, some sort of family support and everybody's like oh you're so pretty which is not necessarily true for what was happening outside of home though uh, whether it was school or like random people that I met nobody thought I was pretty and that's kind of harsh um, and I think this happens to most curly head girls where like just because they don't have silky straight hair and they don't have like you know the light fucking shining off their hair sorry for the French but like clearly it's something that I feel uh, a lot for um, a lot of people just assume that it's not pretty and that's simply not true first of all beauty lies in the sight of the beholder so honestly if you think your hair is pretty then that's that that's really just that but having said that I always say that it hasn't been easy uh, growing up with curly hair um, even like hairstylists who are supposed to be neutral about this shit apparently um, did not like it they didn't appreciate it um, some people will just say oh your hair is so gorgeous and they'll say like did you permit how much do you pay for it is that real is it natural and it feels great but then there are always those people even now um, in 2017 that will say like maybe you should straighten your hair it's so dry it's so dry rough it's so frizzy and I'm like mind your own business um I do have some great salons in Bombay that I go to where they love curly hair and they appreciate it and they know how to cut it so that's great but it's taken a really long time to find them but having said all of that I want to say that initially when I was growing up like I said it was tough um I think like my, my mother spent a lot of time combing my hair when I was growing up and then you know oiling it and putting it into plaits and things like that in school you couldn't have even short curly hair because it was too unmanageable um, um, again, it's, it was an insult. So what happened was that um, just after I graduated school, I was curious about what it would feel like to have straight hair. So then I straightened my hair for a couple of years. I mean, I liked it and everybody was like, oh, it's pretty, but I didn't love it. I, it didn't feel like me at all. I feel like I my posture changes. I behave differently. I'm almost a little more polite. Like, I don't know. It's just, it changes my entire personality. I didn't really have a transition, uh, so to speak. But if you had to call it, call it a transition, I think just after those two years of having straight hair, I decided that I would never straighten my hair again um, and I loved my curly hair and I liked the personality that came from that so I've never straightened my hair since um, so that was many 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 years ago I would say like 15 years ago I transitioned so to speak 15 years ago in that sense post that I basically started experimenting with my hair I started using different kinds of oils there was this one sun silk shampoo and conditioner that they had uh, back in the early 2000s so I used to use that me and my best friend used to use that ever since then I've been using different shampoos I would change I would you know try to find things that would suit my hair um, for the last at least five years a lot of people around the world started going natural and there was this natural hair movement that started happening and people who made products started responding to that so for example Shea Moisture which is a brand that is coming out of the US is um, something that responded to that and actually grew through that movement I started watching these videos and for me it was a great inspiration there wasn't too much Indian stuff on it but I would see a lot of uh, African Americans I would see a lot of you know um, Latinas uh, um, and I would see all their videos and I would get so excited because my hair wasn't exactly like this but, but it was curly and it was similar and they were going through their own sort of understanding their hair and being in a relationship with their hair and I would you know import products or if I traveled which I did pretty often I would buy a whole bunch of different kinds of product and um, use it on my hair and basically talk to my sister or whoever I knew who had curly hair and say this is this is really great this works on me um, so on and so forth so I've been really like trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work for my hair um, 
the other thing that's interesting is that like for example if you see the frizz around here i actually really like it there used to be a time when i didn't like it i used to be so anti-frizz but i think as you grow to like your hair and as you grow to like how curly hair behaves it's like a different look every day i would uh do my hair in different ways i would color it i would cut it i would get bangs for example my hairstylist has this big joke where she says that you get really restless with your hair and you keep coming to me and saying what can i do with it now and i really feel like that comes from having a relationship with my hair i love it if you have curly hair and if you've had a tough time know that you're not alone everybody has gone through it it wasn't easy having curly hair in the 90s it's not as easy right now and it doesn't matter just love your hair love yourself and love what you have i feel like the character that curly hair brings to a person's personality and I, and you may think i'm crazy but i really do think there's a character that comes through uh, your personality when you have curly hair and i love that character but uh, the point is that love your own hair love what you've been given if you have curly hair and you want to love it and you don't know how to yet because people have been really negative about your hair just try and be in a relationship with your hair understand it see how much water it likes watch videos read blogs um just sort of care for it and give a shit about your hair you know um that's that's really all i wanted to say in this video my next video is going to be some tips on um how to take care of your hair if you're just transitioning what to do and what not to do um so look out for that i will see you next time i gotta go now bye